Social networking, that's for IT people, isn't it? But what about the agricultural sector, people living in rural areas? Giacomo Rambaldi here. He works for the Technical Centre for Agricultural and Rural Cooperation. Now, you've been training farmers, agricultural workers in how to use social networking. How is it going to help them? Well, with, within a, a programme which started in 2008, we have been uh, offering um, technology intermediaries uh, uh, the possibility of gaining uh, skills and access to online facilities which would enable them to create content, to share content, to collaborate remotely, to, to speak remotely at cost zero uh, among each other. So that has proven extremely, extremely uh, successful. Um, once these people are exposed to these kind of technologies, they, they want to continue learning and discovering. And that's the beauty of the, of the, of the process. And how, do, how would a farmer in rural Africa, for example, use this? Well, there are, uh, I, would, I would rather speak about a farmer's organization, okay, who would act on behalf of the farmer. So the farmer organization would set up a, a Facebook page where, for example, they are um, discussing and, and, and showcasing their products or sharing uh, up-to-date information on the latest publication on, uh, which is available on how to grow pigs, for example. Um, and uh, on the top of that, uh, they, 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 are, they have access to technologies which allows them to speak freely at a zero cost among each other as members of, of the groups. They can set up discussion lists and so on. Now farmers are increasingly uh, in, in Africa, in certain, in certain areas, are increasingly using uh, um, mobile devices, uh, text messaging and so on, um, to share information, to access information, to access advice, and uh, using Web2 and social media that can help them in, in getting access to relevant and up-to-date information, which is critical for them in, uh, in their uh, endeavors. So that's fascinating. So it's not just uh putting your products out to market or advertising what you produce. It's about sharing know-how, sharing technologies and techniques. Have you been getting positive feedback on this? Yes, actually uh, we invest a lot in monitoring and evaluation. Uh, we, we get back to the trainees at regular intervals and get feedback on what they have been doing, what has changed at their professional level, at their individual level, at institutional level and at their beneficiary level. So we, we have done a study over the period 2008-2010 which has guided us in improving the, the curriculum of the training and we are doing now one study covering uh, the period of 2011-2012. So all these studies allows us to assess the impact and improve service delivery. And uh, we have impressive returns. I mean, I've been working in development for 32 years, and I must say that this particular program is the one which is yielding the best returns uh, and makes a change in life of the people. So when you get emails telling, it changed my life, I mean, you, as a person, you are extremely gratified by that. Thank you very much. My pleasure. <laughs>